What's up? Doing a album review. Or, yeah, album review. Uh, I've never done anything like this, but I really want to promote this project. So, uh, just want to go over it, listen to it, and just, re I guess, review it. Uh, it's not a reaction because I've been listening to this mixtape since it came out. So, uh, I'm just very proud of Malik. Uh, this project is awesome. Um, and I think it's good for, it's good that I listen to it, like, you know, for a good bit and then doing this. Uh, but uh, the project we're listening to today is Just For Fun by Malik Alaka. It, it came out April 19th, 2019. Uh, it is a six track song. All the highest... The longest song on it is 3 minutes and 6 seconds. The shortest song on it is a minute and 47. Um, this is this is on, I think, on all platforms. Uh, except for SoundCloud. I don't think it's on SoundCloud. But if you pay for a streaming service, or you use Spotify, it's definitely on Spotify. That's what I'm listening to it on. Uh, definitely on Tidal and Apple Music. I think Malik was telling me... Uh, he gets paid like 25 cents per stream on Spotify, and then he gets paid close to a dollar on a uh, title, something like that, uh, per play. Uh, I'm off, I know I'm off, but it's pretty close. Um, but let's uh, go ahead and jump into it. The first song is IBG, I'ma Be Great, two minutes and nine seconds. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, that was kind of cool. I didn't know that. So, uh, I'm playing it on the uh, on my computer, and there's like a tab or a button that says devices available, and then it showed I've been listening to it on my phone, and then I just switched to my uh, I just switched to my uh, computer. So hopefully now it works. This is my computer speakers, so bear with me, you know. And I don't want this to be the best quality because you need to go and listen to this project. So this is the intro. I like this little voice because it's like his inner, it, to me I thought it was like his inner voice and at the beginning, the voice is like against him. But then, as the song goes on, I'm gonna be great, you know, it, it kind of flips. It's no longer against, the voice is no longer against them. The voice is with them. All right, so that's I'ma be great, IBG or I'ma be great. One of my favorites. I really like that uh that that voice that you know that inner voice kind of thing. How it's against them in the beginning, but then it, it like whenever like you're like. 
whenever you're about to start something, when you want to do something, your voice is, uh, my brother told me about this, uh, it's, re it's called resistance, you know, you're going to resist yourself, so you're going to tell yourself everything that can go wrong so you won't do it, you know, you're going to, you're just going to, you're going to psych yourself out, you know, but as soon as you go and do it, like, that voice no longer exists because you're so focused on having to do it, do the thing, you know? So I think, I, I really think that uh, I'm, IBG really captured that. And uh, something interesting about Malik is uh, Malik in his life uh, traveled a lot. You know, he's a, he's a pretty young guy. He's, I think he's 21, 22. And um, he's lived in California. I believe he's lived in Toronto, uh, somewhere in Canada. And, and then now he's in Houston. Uh, I'm not sure if he started in Houston. I think he did. I think he went from Houston, Cali, uh, Canada, back to Houston. Um, if, uh, if you go on YouTube and look up Godcast, uh, I think he's number four. Godcast number four. We talk about it a little bit. Um, and the reason why I brought up that Malik has been to so many places is his voice is really unique. He has a really... Uh, is a really u unique, uh, like perspective, you know. Um, it's like, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, but it's just Malik is a, a unique artist, so, uh, like, sometimes I can't catch what he says, you know, and I'll have to ask him, you know, and uh, I always, I always give Malik's. Uh, his uh, his verses wrong when I'm like spitting them like back to myself because he he's uh, he's not a predictable rapper you know he's a he's he's definitely unique you know I can't say it enough but this is song number two just for fun um, remastered uh, just okay just for fun is the name of the mixtape and this is the name of song number two and I love when artists do this okay so. I had a theory, I told my brother about this, I had a theory that whenever, whenever the single is also named the same as the mixtape, like there's a name on the name of, there's a track on the album with the name and that same name is the name of the album. It can get tricky because if, this is my theory, my theory is if, if that's the case and like, let's say, this is just random, uh, Usher, yeah. Remember, yeah, yeah, everyone, you, everyone should remember that song, right? It's a, it's a really good song. But let's pretend that Usher named his album, yeah, and his single was named, yeah. And I, I can't think of an artist that has done this, but whenever that single name is track number one, the album is a money grab, okay? But whenever the single name is, you know, any other number, track number two, three, or four, I think yeah is number four. But I mean, it doesn't even matter. Like, okay, Confessions. The name of the album is Confessions. And I think Confessions is track number two, if I'm not mistaken. That that album might disprove me, because that's a good-ass album. But, uh, but Malik did this too. But Malik isn't track number one. Just For Fun Remastered is track number two, same as the mixtape name. But little side note on just my thought on music and shit uh, just for fun one two three two minutes and five seconds four. this song it's so like nowadays man people be all up in my ear be like bro you ain't trying to have too much fun like when you gonna ever like try to do some work Bitch, I'm a boss, huh? Yeah, dumb it through L's if you. 
you can tell, but don't take a loss. Uh, yeah, catching the plays, feeling like Randy, smoking on Moss. Uh, yeah, I'm with your boo and we intimate, intimate. We skip the line when we enter it, enter it. We don't compete because we winning it, winning it. We started up and we finish it, finish it. She want to sit, sit, all on the drip, drip. I let it take a little swig of it, swig of it. She like a button, I'm pinning it, pinning it. My work is funny, no quitting it. Nah, okay, nah, nah I'm a go get rich, nigga, just for fun. Just for fun. Okay, now nah, I'm a fuck your bitch, nigga, just for fun. Just for fun. Now, Shardy, suck this dick. I told her, lick for gold. Lick for okay, my niggas in this bitch. We do it just for fun. Just for fun. Now, nah, I'm a go get rich, nigga, just for fun. Just for fun. Okay, now, nah, I'm a fuck your bitch, nigga, just for fun. Just for fun. Now, nah, she gon' suck this dick. She do it just for fun. Just for fun. Okay, my niggas been no one. We do it just for fun. Okay, that was track number two, two minutes and five seconds. One of my top favorite songs. Uh, I'm not gonna rank it, but it uh, it is one of my favorite songs on the on the tape. Um, I don't I don't know. I I, I want to explain more, but I don't know. It's just uh, I'm familiar with Malik. You know, I uh, I, I I know Malik and. That song, I, I feel like that song really captures him well, you know, and uh, and I think that's why we click so well because I relate to that song a lot, you know. So it's cool. It's it, it's uh, and it's just for fun remastered. Uh, so I'm not really sure what the difference is between the original and this one, but uh, it is one of my favorite songs. So that's track number two. Uh, now we're on track number three, Bussin', three minutes and six seconds. Now this one is another one of my favorites, top top favorites on the album. Uh, oh, and then I, I also wanted to tell you uh, that the whole album is 13 minutes long. So it's pretty quick, six songs, 13 minutes, uh, straight to the point, no filler, no bullshit, it's just good music, so I love it. So this is Bussin', this is that, this is, uh, this song embodies like my anger mint uh, is that word a word? Anger mint? My, uh, this song embodies my, uh, I guess my anger, you know, like, it just, uh, I don't know, it just, uh, it's another song I, I can just relate to so much, you know, uh, if anger mint is not a word, it needs to be, because this song, this song is anger mint. Three minutes and six seconds, this song. A bus. And I'm not sure why it doesn't say remastered or like version 2.0, because this was, he did have this song at like a minute before. Uh, I guess like as a single, it, it, it was a minute long, and then on the album it's three minutes, and it's, it's worth it. I hope I can shoot a video to this. Still working with Malik. I used to manage Malik. But I really want to do this video because I have a vision for it, you know? Right here, listen to it. I 
I cannot limit the change. Y'all getting that pain and tension where we play. Huh? Feeling like Nicholas Curry. Huh? I feel like flipping the bird. Huh? Keep it on hot in the bird. Huh? I gotta unleash the wave. I bet that we do like a witch. Don't skip. Let it rip. Burn. Empty out the clips. Keep it grip. It won't miss. Better hope. Better wish. I ain't pissed. You a bitch. From the go. I be in. If I shoot. Keep playing the song, keep my name out your mouth, you just said enough, I ain't saying nothing, didn't tell you once, they not real, they abandoned us, never won the front, I could never give a fuck up, plus I'm gonna end up in there with my shirt tucked, fuck up, man, fuck all that shit, bust on this bitch ass nigga. Crazy song, crazy song. Like 15 flows in it. His wordplay is fucking crazy. And and that's what I was trying to explain to you at the beginning, man. Malik Alaka plays with words like no other, man. I've been listening to this mixtape all week and I'll still fuck up the words, man. Cause it's just, uh, he's so, uh, I don't know what the word is, man. Cause he's just so, uh, He's like, um, I guess like unpredictable, you know? I wanted to say like fluid or I don't know. He, uh, he's a beast with it. He's a beast with it, man. He's a, a true artist. He, uh, he does everything, you know? Uh, that's why I say I hope I could do that video because Malik just might, oh, you know, I have a video done, fuck it, you know? And because that's who he is. He'll do a video for it. He'll, he'll make the beat. He'll shoot it. He'll, he's, he's a creative, man. So that last song, we're halfway through. Number th that was bussin'. Three minutes and six seconds. We're on Y now, and that uh, this song is a minute and forty-seven seconds. I need to talk to Malik, but I think this is his most popular song on the tape. I'm not sure. That, that's the shortest song on the on the tape but if I'm not mistaken there's no hook on it it's just straight bars I'm, that's a minute of four, minute 47 of fucking bars if I'm not mistaken so uh, I remember he there's a video to this I think you can only watch it on Twitter but uh, if you oh man I can't think of Malik's Twitter Let me look that up for y'all. Cause that video is worth a watch. It's pretty cool. Uh, if not all of it, some of it uh, shot at a bank. It's pretty cool. But I remember whenever he dropped that video, maybe it was just a teaser, not a whole video, but uh, people went crazy on Twitter for that song. So it was, it was exciting to see. Uh, and then it was exciting to uh, anticipate the mixtape, you know, cause the, I didn't even know the mixtape was coming out, so. I just, I just remember he dropped that song and 
Shit went crazy. Oh, we got a problem. We got a problem, problem. My computer logged me out of Twitter. Let's see if Apple keychains is. Is all that it's hyped up to be. Can't be fun. Okay. They just they just want my number. Man, how do you turn that night mode on, on, on the computer? I don't get on Twitter that much on the computer. I need to get on more. Dark mode, there we go. I love dark mode. So, um, if you're not familiar with Malik, he has several names. Uh, I think it's in y'all's best interest to call him Mo. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he goes by Mo. He goes by Malik. He goes, and then his producer name is himself. So his at his Twitter handle is fuck himself. So at f u c k h m s l f. That's his Twitter. Um, make sure you follow him again his twitter handle at f-u-c-k-h-m-s-l-f and the reason why I'm giving you his twitter is because I know his videos on here and I know it's the best way to contact him so if you want to reach out to Malik or Mo or himself do it through that do it through twitter so let's get into uh Number five, another another top favorite. Oh, let me. So it's number five, name of the song, Stunning Like My Mama, two minutes and 47 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I have a video for this yeah. one too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, boy, where you get it from?
Probably one of the best hip hop mother songs. You know, all you Tupac fans can fight me. All you Chance the Rapper fans can fight me. All you Kanye fans can fight me. One of the best mother hip hop songs. So, last song on the mixtape. Number six. I remember it's a bonus track. Woman in 49. You know, and I'm, I might have fucked that up. I, I told you that the video was for why. The video might have been for I Remember. Yeah, I think, I'm, I think I fucked that up, and I think the video is for I Remember. On Twitter, the one I was talking about, Twitter. But uh, let's get into it. So everything I said about why, I meant for I Remember. <laughs> I could be wrong. It could, it could have been the, no, but I'm pretty sure the video is for I remember. Now that I, I'm seeing it, uh, yeah, it, now, and now that I'm hearing it, the video is definitely for I remember. A minute forty nine. I remember counting pennies with my bank account plenty. Bad bitch face fifty. Every dick say. Tape ends the EP exclusive project, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and yeah, I was completely wrong. The video is for I Remember. Um, I like the shout out he does to Fendi uh, on that song. Uh, and shout out to BCM, shout out to everyone over there Jayco, YGR, KT, uh, Fendi. But shout out to everyone over there. Uh, and then I'm gonna play I, I remember is the bonus track on the EP but me is gonna be the bonus track on the video so we're gonna play me too how me or me I'm gonna play me as well or you know but the songs called me uh, oh and you know what let me show you so the just for fun mixtape looks like that so if you're looking for it, let's see, I don't know if I can, I don't know if it'll focus enough, or, but it's just a black, it's just black background, white just for fun, and then with, uh, with some color, color patterns, yeah, I, I'm not sure what the color patterns are, but that is the cover for me which I'm about to play it is a minute and 20 seconds the song is just M E period um, and then I uh, Houston's Art Club my company did do the video for this one uh -uh. 
Shout out to Michael, he was the cinematographer. The, that, that's how we'll end the video. Malika Laka, make sure you look him up. All platforms. M A L I K A L A K A or H M S L F. So make sure y'all listen to that. Um, so, may, like, um, one thing that stands out the most is the wordplay. The wordplay is, is phenomenal. Um, I guess like if I were to give a critique, uh, I guess I would say like, uh, more time on like the engineering, I guess. But, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken for the just for fun tape, Malik wrote everything, Malik produced everything. And then Malik also, uh, engineered it. I could be wrong and he'll correct me, uh, if I am. But it's tough. It's tough doing all those things. Uh, and if you want to, if you want to outsource it and get it, get it engineered by someone else, it gets expensive. So, I mean, I get it. And on top of all that, uh, sometimes that's like what, like that. Those are the intentions. The intentions are for like the song to not be in the best quality. You know, the song for it to be uh, just a rugged ass song. You know, just uh, um, like like I said, no filler. You know. Um, Malik is a no bullshit kind of guy, and uh, his mixtape uh, shows that. So it's really cool. It's a really good mixtape, um, and it's so good. I had to do this. I had I had to just talk about it and just show people it because uh, super proud, super proud of him, man. Uh, yeah, and like. I always feel weird when I say like, "Oh, I'm proud of you." Like, it's like, who am I? You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just like that. That's what I feel. I feel like I feel pride when I hear this song. You know, like I'm just proud. You know, it's such a good, it's such a good mix that I can't. Like, you know, it's uh, it, 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 it was, uh, it's been a process for Malik, and uh, it's been frustrating for him, but it's cool. Uh, it's cool that all, all those emotions and all that time um, accumulated uh, and then condensed is what gave us this project. You know, that's what I think at least. So it's, it's, it's such a good project. Um, you know, and I, I just don't know how to end this because I just want y'all to check out, I just want, I want y'all to check out Mo as much, you know, uh, check out the whole villain posse. Uh, Peace is on his grind, uh, collab after collab, he's, uh, he's pumping, he, uh, he, uh, he may have dropped the tape this year, or maybe it was the end of last year, but, uh, for sure 2019 has been his, uh, has been Peace's, uh, uh, what's the word? It's just, uh. Twenty nineteen is like the. I don't even know. You know, I I'm the. It's just that there's there's just so much uh, there's so much workout with Peace right now. You know, there's so many so much stuff that he's collaborating with a bunch of artists and. Uh, 
I'm trying to give you like a good metaphor, you know, but I, I just can't think of it, you know. And uh, and then Zerx has been working. Zerx has been, he hasn't put, put anything out in a while. I think the last thing he put out was maybe Aries 2 or actually a couple singles after Aries 2. But I know he's working because he's been sending me stuff. So I know something's coming soon. And uh, and I know he's working with a lot of people. Uh, he recently moved to Vegas, so... Uh, a change of environment is going to be interesting to see, you know, what, like, what he comes out with. So, just make sure you check out Lord Xerx, Peace, Mo, uh, and the BCM fan, you know, uh, YGR, Jayco, KT, Fendi Auto. And that's how we're going to end the uh, Just For Fun uh, EP review.